Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube NFL prediction segment, I'm going to be giving you my picks and analysis for week 14 of the 2015 NFL season. Now, the first game, I like Arizona at home over Minnesota. Arizona is just playing great, to say the least. Number one total offense. Uh, Carson Palmer and Larry Fitzgerald, obviously, very lethal combination. They've been on a rampage. They've won six in a row. Minnesota, I think they're going to have some difficulty uh, coming off. This is a very uh, short week for them, and they'll have a tough time on the road, I think, after, after this. And they, they also, and as you, you know, they were dismantled by Seattle last week, and that was at Minnesota. And I think, I mean, you're losing home to Seattle, then you got to try to bounce back and go on the road to face a very great Arizona team. I just don't see that happening. I like Arizona to win at home. Now, the next game. This is the toilet bowl game of the week. Cleveland Browns at home versus San Francisco. I'm going to take Cleveland at home very reluctantly. I could see this one as a coin flip. These offenses are both putrid on both these teams. Cleveland is number 30 in points per game, and San Francisco is dead last in points per game right now. San Francisco had a very good uh, win, I thought, last week over Chicago uh, on the road. Uh, they're going to have to be dependent on uh, their their quarterback, Blaine, Griff, uh, uh, Blaine Gabbard, I believe name is, and running back Sean uh, Drown, and, and the, their wide receiver, uh, Torrey Smith. I mean, they... If they could get things going, uh, maybe they can generate some more points than they usually do and have a shot against Cleveland. I mean, Cleveland is not great, of course, either. Quarterback Johnny Menzel is questionable. This team is obviously in disarray right now. But the only reason I really like Cleveland is on virtue of them being at home. So I'm going to take the Browns. Browns at home and a nail-biter. Next game, I'm going to take the Detroit Lions on the road to defeat the St. Louis Rams. Detroit would have had four consecutive victories if not for that miraculous catch at the end of the game by Green Bay. And now you look at uh, Detroit before before that in their three their three wins the defense had looked like had been playing very well. Uh, St. Louis has dropped five consecutive games, number 32 in in, in passing yards uh, per game. Their, their passing game is inept, to say the least. And Coach Fit Jeff Fisher had, had was even stupefied just at the, I forget what it was exactly, perhaps the general play. I like Detroit to win on the road. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home to defeat the New Orleans Saints. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. The progression and maturation of quarterback Jameis Winston is very evident. I think running back Doug Martin is number two in rushing yards. They are at home. New Orleans can't stop anybody. I don't know if they could even stop me going out uh, for for a pass. Uh, New Orleans, the last, they've lost four consecutive, and they've been outscored 146 to 86 in that, in that period. They're next to last in pass defense. Uh, they're number 32 in, in points per game allowed. I, I like Tampa Bay to win this uh, one at home. Now the next game. I'm going to take the New York Jets at home to defeat the Tennessee Titans. New York Jets, uh, Decker and, and Brandon Marshall were awesome last week. They're number one in run defense. And they're really, to, to me right now, the Jets have... have played a very good game last week against the Giants. They they look like they're they're ready to make a playoff push. And Tennessee, and don't get me wrong, I love them for finally breaking that consecutive home game losing streak. That was almost miraculous. I did pick them as you remember last week and uh, I got it right this time. Kudos to the Titans. Uh, but the last time they won consecutive games in, a, in a, consecutive games in a season was at the end of the 2013 season, week 16 and 17. I know they won opening day in 2014, but I'm talking about in the same season. That was the last time they had consecutive wins, and I don't see it happening uh, this time. And anyway, uh, and any and another thing too, what's interesting is that all three wins this season by the Titans were 
or when they generated 34 points or more. I don't think they're going to be able to do that against the Jets defense. So it equates, in my mind, to a New York Jets victory. So I like the Jets at home. Next game, I'm going to take the Cincinnati Bengals at home to defeat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Cincinnati uh, right now is number one in scoring defense, 16.3 points allowed per game. Free safety, Reggie Nelson, number one in INTs. They're getting it done on all sides, both sides of the ball right now. Now, the Steelers, uh, quarterback Ben, Ro ben Roethlisberger and wide receiver Antonio Brown. This is another deadly combination, of course. They can make this game very close. However, running back Levy and Bell is out. I think this will figure prominently. And I, I just, the Pittsburgh Steelers right now are number two in total offense. So they can make this close game. It's a divisional rivalry. But I like Cincinnati to win a close one at home. Now, the next game, I'm going to take the Jacksonville Jaguars at home to defeat the Indianapolis Colts. Jacksonville Jaguars uh, wide receiver Allen Robinson. I mean, he's a, a still has that lead at 24 catches of over 20 yards. Very deadly and dangerous in the open field. Uh, their Jaguars are three and three in the past six games. They've been competitive in all of them. Their worst loss was by five points to my Jets. They're averaging nearly 23 points per game. It's one time I could look at in some recent time where the Jaguars were not in that like that bottom five in points per game scored. And, and I mean, this is really uh, a team that is really coming along. I like what uh, Bortles is doing with, with the Jaguars. And Indianapolis, okay, they were playing well until they got throttled last week. Indy's three and three on the road to Quell Jackson. They got something to boast about number one in tackles with 122. I mean, they got some things going for them, but I just, uh, I don't see them pulling, winning this one. Uh, Jacksonville and Indy are playing about almost the same, even though I know Indy has a better record right now, and Jacksonville is at home, and I'm taking the Jaguars to win at home. Next game, I'm going to take Kansas City uh, to win uh, at home over the San Diego Chargers. Now, Kansas City has completely annihilated opponents overall. The last six games, 194 to 81, they've outscored them. And the team, I mean, this is a team right now that, to me, is playing, is playing at such a, a level uh, right now where they could actually be dangerous if they do get into the postseason. And as many of you know, they did beat Denver at Denver so, I mean, I could see this team maybe pulling an upset in the first round. They might be able to, or if it, if they are underdogs, I, I could see them getting out of it, at least the first round of the uh, of the playoffs. Now, San Diego had has dropped seven of their last eight, and really, they only scored three points last week. And they've, they've had a grand total of 31 points scored in the last three games. Wide receiver Keenan Allen is out. This team has looked deplorable, to say the least. They look like one of the worst teams in the NFL right now, and they are on the road, and I like Kansas City to win at home. Next game, I'm going to take the Chicago Bears to win at home. Uh, they haven't really been that great at home. I mean, I understand Washington's 0-5 on the road, but Chicago is not much better home. Chicago is 1-5 at home, so... Let's see how this works out. Running back Matt Forte is going to have to step up, I think, in this uh, in this particular game. I mean, Chicago couldn't beat San Francisco last week, but I don't see them dropping uh, two of these home games, uh, one to San Francisco and another to Washington. Washington, uh, Kirk Cousins, the quarterback of Washington, is better, obviously, at home than on the road. I think this is going to be a, a tough a tough place for him to go in to emerge victorious in the Washington Redskins in general. I do like Chicago to win at home. The next game, I'm going to take Carolina at home to win over Atlanta. Carolina barely came out with a win last week, but they still got it. Uh, Cam Newton, one of the uh, really is his fourth quarter efficiency is like off the charts. 16 consecutive regular season wins right now. Number one in interceptions. This team has playmakers. And 
Uh, Atlanta's dropped six in a row. Uh, they're dead last in sacks. If they can't get to Cam Newton, they're going to have a problem in this game. And also, uh, their wide receiver, Julio Jones, I mean, he's phenomenal. He's number one in receptions right now with 102, but he can't get it done by himself. And they're going to have to have their other receivers have to step up in this game in order to have a chance. I don't see it happening. I like Carolina to win at home. Now, the next game, I'm going to take the Seattle Seahawks to win on the road over the Baltimore Ravens. Now, the Seattle uh, throttled Minnesota last week. Their the team is number one in rushing yards. The defense is stepping up. They're getting some INTs right now. And... They are a team to be reckoned with, obviously. They've won five of six. This is starting to look like the team that we saw the past couple seasons, uh, the one that won the Super Bowl one year and then the Super Bowl runner-up the next. And they did this without Marshawn Lynch. So I'm looking at this like right now, they are just peaking at the right time. And what happens when Lynch comes back? This could be a really formidable team. Now, Baltimore... Well, the Ravenous defense maybe is starting to revive a little bit. They the defense played well last week. However, this team is known as dead last in the NFL interceptions. They're going to have to get some uh, help from their secondary, and that's got to step up this week. I don't know if it's going to be capable of doing that, so I'm going to take Seattle to win uh, on the road. Now, the next game, I'm going to take Denver Broncos to win at home over the Oakland Raiders. Now, Denver... Uh, talk about efficiency, quarterback uh, Brock uh, Eisweiler, but he's probable. Now, stellar defense would probably be an understatement for this team. They're number one in total and pass defense. They have 41 uh, team sacks right now. I believe that's number one in the NFL. And Oakland is floundering right now. They're one and four in the last five games. Uh, quarterback David Carr is still kind of a little under the radar. He's having a very good season. And it being a divisional game, they might make it a little bit closer than what others anticip most anticipate. And Denver may not put up a prodigious amount of points. So for those reasons, it might actually be somewhat close. I see Denver winning this one decisively, though. I just don't think Oakland's going to be able to go in there and do a whole lot. And Oakland is starting to reel right now. As so I'm taking Denver to win at home. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers to prevail at home over uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Now, Green Bay Packers have been somewhat sporadically. They have not really looked uh, that sharp. It took that miraculous uh, Hail Mary for them to beat Detroit uh, last week. It, it, I mean... I don't quite understand what's happened with this team. They just have not looked good in the last... Uh, the last five or six weeks or so, but uh, they're but this that being said, they are four and two at home. They don't quite have that aura of invincibility at home they may have once had, but they're still good enough, I believe, to beat Dallas. Tony Romo is out, and the only they that was the only win Dallas got last week without Romo, and I don't see them winning consecutive games without him having to do two games on consecutive games on the road. It just I don't see it happening. I like Green Bay to win at home. Next game, I'm going to take the New England Patriots on the road to defeat the Houston Texans. New England has not lost three consecutive games since 2002. This will be somewhat historical if they somehow found a way to lose at, at Houston. I understand they have some injuries. Uh, Gronkowski is, is is questionable. This might be a this might be a more competitive game than a lot of people think because Houston. I know they lost last week, but they have been playing actually very well, and they are at home. They still got J.J. Watt and wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. This is very they're both very dangerous. And I think this could be uh, this could be a game. Maybe New England wins by maybe like a touchdown or, or somewhere around there. And remember, last week was kind of was a very bizarre win for uh, for the Eagles over the Patriots. Twenty one of their points came when the, the the Patriots defense wasn't even on the field. So to me, it would have to be something similar to this. To, to, to duplicate in order for the Patriots to lose again. I don't see them dropping three in a row. I like the Patriots to win on the road. Last but not least, I'm going to take the New York Giants to win on the road over the Miami Dolphins. 
New York Giants, the main reason I see them winning is the urgency factor. Is It should be significant right now. <laughs> They're number one in total tackles in the league. I hope they don't have to do a lot of tackling in this game. Hopefully, Eli Manning will step up and he will play well and, and back him. And all these, um, and in Miami right now, with Ryan Tannehill, their and their their team. I mean, he's very he's consistent. But the thing about this is, I just think that the desperation fact with the Giants is going to be a little stronger than even the the consistency of Ryan Tannehill and and what the Dolphins can do as far as offense and defense overall. I just see the Giants going in there. In taking care of business and trying to uh, stay in this NFC uh, East hunt uh, right now because right now the Miami Dolphins are well out of the playoff picture and the Giants have a little more to play for right now so I do like the Giants to win on the road well anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube NFL prediction segment for uh, week 14 NFL picks for 2015 and stay tuned next time where I'll be giving you my picks and analysis for week 15 of the 2015 NFL season. Until next time people, Edwin Leonard saying stay well.